Welcome to getting started with the UA Gateway. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to make both an OPC UA server and an OPC UA client connection to the UA Gateway. The UA Gateway enables aggregation, federation, and securing of OPC UA structured data. It is installed as a separate service from the Kepware runtime and is configured exclusively with Kepware Plus. The UA Gateway is available in version 6.14 and above for ThingWorks Kepware server. We will assume that the user is familiar with basic configuration knowledge of Kepware and Kepware Plus. We will also assume that a connection has been made between the on-prem instance of Kepware and Kepware Plus. For additional configuration of Kepware Plus, please refer to the Kepware Plus Quick Start Guide. Let's get started. The first task will be to create a server endpoint within the UA Gateway. This allows for UA clients to connect to the UA Gateway. Log into your instance of Kepware Plus and navigate to the UA Gateway. In the tree, expand the UA Gateway node. Select Server Interface. Right-click on the three-dot configuration menu and select New Server Endpoint. It is important to copy the address of the server endpoint. We will be using this while configuring the UA client. With the endpoint created, we must now configure the security settings for the server. Navigate to the server endpoint instance and click the three dots and then properties. From here, you can see the various options for security, including authentication methods and updated encryption methods. Please note that the security settings must match on both the client and the server. If a setting is updated on one, it must be updated on the other. Once the endpoint is configured and the security settings are set, it is time to create a client connection to the UA gateway. For this video, we will be using UA Expert. However, the general concept will be the same for any UA client. We will create a new connection, paste our server endpoint URL, and match security settings of the server. We will now click Connect. Note, the initial connection will fail because we have not yet trusted the certificate in Kepware Plus. We will open Kepware Plus and navigate to the UA Gateway page and then select Certificates from the drop-down menu. Click on the icon to open the properties of the certificate and change the trust status to Trusted. Open your UA client and verify that you have a successful connection. We will now demonstrate how to create a client interface with the UA Gateway. In this scenario, the UA Gateway will act as an OPC UA client and will connect to an OPC UA server. Log into your instance of Kepware Plus and navigate to the UA Gateway. In the tree, expand the UA Gateway node. Select Client Interface and click New Client Connection. Input the relevant information in the pop-up window. The URL name will be the endpoint URL of the OPC server we are trying to make a connection to. Similar to the server connection, the identity and security policies must match. Once the information is complete, click Save. The UA Gateway will now attempt to establish a connection to the OPC UA server. The initial attempt will fail because the certificate is not yet trusted by the server. Navigate to your OPC UA server's trust store and trust the certificate. Additionally, we must trust the server certificate in the UA Gateway. Navigate to Kepware Plus and to the UA Gateway page and then select the client being connected. Select Certificates from the drop-down menu. Click on the icon to open the properties of the certificate and change the trust status to Trusted and click Save. Congratulations on your successful configuration of the UA Gateway.